in morality, immorality, you find it easy for you to spend it. So, dear brothers and sisters, I won't prolong my sermon. However, the Prophet said, Man tasaddaq bi adir tamratin, bi adir tamratin, min kasa bitwibi. And whoever spends in the way of Allah, the size of a debt, a debt, intended, that's what I mean, a debt, a size of a debt, min tuibin, in his good wealth, in other words, the money that he has acquired through proper means, agreed, accepted by Sharia, or oh, by Islam. Wala yuqbaru Allahu illa tayyiban. Allah does not accept from us unless that which, that which is good. In other words, the goodness that we're talking about, that one that has been earned through the legally accepted means in Sharia. Wa inna Allah tabarak wa ta'ala yataqabbalaha biyaminihi. Indeed, that single contribution that one has given out of a size of a debt, the smallest debt like this, Allah holds it into his right. What does he do? What does he do? He grows it for the one who offered it. Allah keeps on growing it. Keeps on growing it. Then, Kama yurabbi ahadukum faluwahu faluwahu hatta takuna mithla jabali. Allah keeps on growing it, growing it and until it comes to a level of a, whole, a, a, a entire mountain. So, dear brothers and sisters, you should offer in the way of Allah as you still have the opportunity. Like I said, that use the opportunity you have today to do things that will benefit you tomorrow when you still that opportunity, uh, have that opportunity. أقول قول هذا وأستغفر الله لكم ولساء المسلم كل ذنبي فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم وهو التواب الرحيم توب إلى الله أيها المؤمنون إن الحمد لله نحمده سبحانه وتعالى ونستغفره ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وأصحابه الطيبين الطاهرين ومن اقتفى بأثرهم واستنى بسنته إلى يوم الدين as we wind up and conclude, dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ تِغَاءَ مَرُضَاتِ اللَّهِ وَتَثْبِيتًا مِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ كَمَثَلِ جَنَّةٍ بِرَبْوَةٍ أَصَابَهَا وَابِرٌ فَآتَتْ أُكُلَهَا فَآتَتْ أُكُلَهَا ضِعْفَيْنِ فَإِنْ لَمْ يُسِبُهَا وَابِرٌ فَطَلَ وَمَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ تِغَاءَ مَرْضَاتِ اللَّهِ And the example of those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah, seeking to please Allah. Allah gave an example. وَتَثْبِيتَ مِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ And even to strengthen their hearts on the way of Allah. Allah said, كَمَثَلِ حَبَّةٍ بِرَبْوَةٍ They are the example of a garden. On, a, on top of a hill that is flattened. What happens to that, to that garden? Wabirun fa'atat uklaha. Rain comes and pours onto them, on, onto that garden. A, down, a huge downpour, downpour. Rain comes down onto that garden. And what happens? Fa'atat uklaha dhu'fain. The fruits of that garden always comes out dhu'fain, doubled in two times. In other words, a garden that is expected of to produce a certain amount of produces, then someone gets it in double and double and double. For illam yusibuha wabirun, even if rain did not come in huge amounts, fatwala, 
and it comes very little wallahu bima ta'maluna basir someone will still benefit because whatever you you do allah is ever watching and seeing what you do dear brothers and sisters i can cite several verses of the quran because one of the most talked about chap uh, one of the most talked about top topics in the quran is people giving in the way of allah but allah says in the quran as i conclude he asks a question man the ladhi yuqridu allah qardan hasana who amongst you can ever go into a business deal with allah and lends allah a good lending in other words whichever you offer get to know that you lending allah qardan hasana a good lending fayudha'ifuhu lahu adha'afan kathira and allah will multiply what you've lent him adha'afan kathira so many thousands thousands of times in other words if someone thought of this project that is the only investment in quotes i'm not saying that is the only one but it's the only investment through which in which someone can invest his money that when he meets allah he can say i was a weak human being like any other person i did so many bad things but the only thing that i have before you that i can present is that juma friday when the people from bmk group of companies and umia umwa came and told us about burying a cemetery buying a, a cemetery where muslims are going to be buried and i offered my little savings just to see that that cemetery is there after thinking about the times that we're living in that muslims today and i should not be misquoted in this we are living in times where even the little that we had has ever been taken away or we've sold it ourselves if we think of a generation that is going to come after us what are they going to find here the land that we had the buildings the factories and so many things that are mean left with us rahimahullah ta'ala today the muslims are in the spotlight over properties and uh, i think i need to create the proprietor of uh, the proprietors of this project because today we are known for selling whatever we have we have muslims are known that either they are wrangling over the land in Zimbabwe, william street is going this there's so many buildings that had been given to us but today we are coming to you telling you that this is an opportunity for us to have something of our own dear brothers and sisters allah tabarak wa ta'ala is asking the person who lends him and allah will double the reward of what you've lent him and abi sa'id al-khuduri radiyallahu anhu qal qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam this one goes to the sisters behind allah say uh, the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said ya ma'ashar an-nisa o you the group of women tasaddaqna given the wealth of allah fa inni ra'aytu kunna akthar ahla an-nar because when allah take, took me to the heaven and toward me the hellfire i saw the biggest number of the inhabitants of the hellfire are women faqulna ya lima bima bima dhalika ya rasulullah we ask the prophet why should allah ban more women than men why is it going to be like that he said kathratul la'an women are ever cursing because of ever cursing wa takfurna ala ashir and they are never grateful to the so many bounties that allah gives them in other words someone one, one sheikh was telling us that a man can spend 10 years with a woman the single day they get a fight or a quarrel she can say that all the 10 years i've spent here are just wasted she cannot remember anything good in the 10 years I'm not saying the one the ones behind here there but the women are out there and Uqba ibn Amir radiyallahu anhu 
the hadith is coming from a sahaba called Uqba ibn Amir radiyallahu anhu he said kullu mur'in fi dhilli sadaqatihin hatta yusil bayna nas every single one of the, of us on the day of judgment when the sun will come to a level a height of a mile onto our heads just imagine if it's in millions and millions of miles away from us the kind of heat that we feel and people even feel like putting off their clothes but on that day when it will be in a height of just one mile the prophet sallallahu said each individual of us will be shaded in the level of his sadaqa what he gave out is the amount of shade that you're going to get so if you're looking for a shade on the day of judgment you give in as much as possible that is the shade that is going to shield you from the heat of the sun that will be there on the day of judgment and ibn abdullah and abdullah ibn Abba, uh, and abdullah ibn umar radiallahu anhu the last tradition that i'm say, uh, i'm saying the hadith comes from abdullah ibn umar radiyallahu anhu maqal ahabba nas ila allah anfa'ahum the best of all human beings that allah loves the most the one who benefits the community the most anfa'ahum the one who benefits others the most just listen to this hadith the prophet did not say that the best human being that allah loves the most is the one who prays the most the, the one who fasts the most the one who does good the most but the one who benefits the rest of humanity the most and the most loved deeds before allah he said sururun to the hiruhu ala muslim it's the happiness that one enters into the chest in the heart of a muslim the reverse is also true the most hated did before Allah is huznin uh, the anointments and whatever that you enter into the, uh, uh, the chest of a Muslim oh hoping someone who is in strain who is overstrained who is in a corner fixed somewhere and you hope him out of that difficulty or paying a debt for someone who is indebted or feeding the, the, the hungry these are the, so many things that we can do dear brothers and sisters you need to know that the giving out the sadaqa that we give out the contributions that we make in the way Allah of Allah they extinguish I don't know whether it is the right word that I can use the way you see how water extinguishes fire the moment water is poured on fire, fire ceases to be burning. So, dear brothers and sisters, I can say a lot and I can talk and talk and talk. But I just want to remind you that this is a golden opportunity for you, the members of parliament. Why? Because you're not into the community so often like other people. Much of your time is consumed here at parliament. Much of your time is consumed in the offices that you're seated into. So when people come to you with something of the sort, I think you need to take it with a lot of seriousness, the lot of interest, like it deserves. Lakad amarna Allah tabaraka ta'ala an yusalli nabi haythu qal, inna Allah wa malaikatu wa yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu salli alayhi wa sallim taslima. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. كما صليت وباركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد وارض اللهم ان اصاب النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم خصوصا منهم ابو بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وان تاب تابعنا الى يوم الدين اللهم اعز الاسلام المسلمين اللهم اعز الاسلام والمسلمين 
wa adhilla shirka wa mushrikin wa damir ka ada ada din allahumma atin nufusana taqwaha wa zaqiha anta khairu ma zakaha anta waliyu maulaha allahumma la tad'u lana fi maqamina hadha dhamban illa ghafarta wala maridha illa shafayta wala faqila illa ghnayta wala hamma illa farajta wala hajata min hawa'ij dunya illa qadayta ya rabbal alamin ربنا هب لنا من ازواجنا وذرياتنا قرة عين واجعلنا للمتقين اماما ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الاخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار واقم الصلاة ان صلاتك كانت على المؤمنين كتابا موقوتا استو واعتذروا وتقاربوا وسد الخلل استو الله اكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الهاكم التكافوا حتى زرتم المقابر فلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون فلا لو تعلمون علما يقين لترون الجحيم ثم ترونها عين اليقين ثم لا تسألن يوم إذ عن النعيم الله سمع الله لمن حمده الله 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 الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. First of all, I want to welcome all of you for today's hutba and today's Friday prayer, which is a little bit special. I was contacted by a BMK group and this group that I engaged in a very important activity of purchasing land for a Muslim cemetery. I have told you before here that it is not our culture, our policy as a masjid to encourage um, fundraising and collecting money here. And you are aware, those who have approached me and have tried it before, I have said no. However, every general rule has an exception. The lawyers know it very well. This particular one is an exception. And it's an exception because I am aware that some of you have made wills and in your wills, you are saying you want to be buried in Inkowe. But I want to remind you that Inkowe is no longer there. So some of your wills are redundant. We will have no way of implementing them because they are what? They are redundant. There is no more Inkowe. So it is the reason why we had to relax our rule and allow this group to come here to be part of this process. Therefore, I want to thank the Imam, Sheikh Siraj Kifampa, who is also not new here. Those of you who pray from here, you know, he has been our Hatweeb before, so he's not new here. And the team that he has moved with, including Imam Kasozi, who is also not new here, he has been our Hatweeb before. And the others, maybe at an approved time, I will invite you, just one of them to come and say something. But let me make two comments. One, that for purposes of this project, I am going to request, first of all, the MPs who are around to stand up. The MPs who are around, please stand up. The MPs who are around, please stand up. Our visitors, I want to first introduce the MPs who are around. 
and I will begin with our senior political leader, the Honorable Minister Hajat Huda Oderu, who is over there, State Minister for Defense, in charge of veteran affairs. Minister says salam. I want to also recognize another minister, the Honorable Muwada Nkunyinji, our minister, our minister for foreign affairs in our alternative government, and MP Chadondo East. And also a prominent member of Umuya. We have uh, our brother, the Honorable Dr. Twaha Kagabo Muze, formerly of NUP, now of MUK. <laughs> Say salam. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We have the Honorable Imam of the Muslim Parliamentary Caucus, the Honorable Mutumba Abdunur who is also with us here, please say salam. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our guests for purposes of today's Juma, those are the MPs who are around. The rest are either members of staff of parliament, the media, or members, or members of the Muslim community of this message. Where we are here is also a message. We have a WhatsApp group where we, we, are, we all participate and contribute and people from around here. We have people who work in the Ministry of Finance. They come here for Juma. We have people from the office of the President who come here for Juma. We have people from the office of the Prime Minister who come here for Juma. KCC, IGG, lands, prisons, all these neighbors of ours come here for Juma. So we are not a small message, if I can use that term. And therefore, because we are not a small message, I don't expect anything from here to be small. So those of us who are here, we have to defend and protect the name and integrity of this community here. I have brought this matter, Mam Kasoli and group, I have brought this matter to the attention of the Speaker of Parliament. And uh, I also expect at this year's Iftari dinner, which is supposed to be when? Zainab, when is it? 22nd March. 22nd March. And may I take this opportunity to invite you in advance? 22nd of March. Inshallah, will be iftari dinner for parliament. The Speaker of Parliament every year usually has a, a contribution she makes to the community. This year, I have interested her to make a contribution to this project. And inshallah, we expect uh, a package. Last year, we did it for which mosque is this? Dinia. No, Dinia. Yes, we did it for Dinia. This year we have interested her for this project. I'm not so sure how much it will be, and I don't decide for my boss, but I brought it to her attention. Eh? Now, I didn't want us to say many words, but I wanted us, when it comes to this project, as the Imam has said, I know the Hutuba was targeting MPs, but I want to expand it to target the community. I defer that. Oh, you defer? Okay. I know the Hutuba was targeting all of us. And I want all of us to participate. We are going officially to put this matter, one on the Muslim Parliamentary Caucus WhatsApp group, but also on the the Muslim Parliament eh? WhatsApp group so that we, we, we make it move. 
But that does not stop those of us who are here from beginning on the journey of this project. And our guest as chairman of the caucus, I'll be beginning with the contribution of 3 million shillings Allah. towards this project. Allah. And I'm going to use my authority as chairperson of the Muslim caucus to ask the MPs to stand up and each one says, but be careful, don't contribute beyond the chairman. <laughs> because it is in, because it is indiscreet. Beyond the chairman, you can do it quietly. Publicly, you know, the point I'm making is that please feel free to make a contribution within your means. Okay, just make a contribution or pledge within your what, your means. Let me begin with the minister. Minister. Ah, ah, minister, the minister for state for defense, in charge of veteran affairs. Honorable Kuda, you have the floor, minister. I must allow you to live with that. Inshallah. That one will be in the platform and will follow up. parliamentary team, but he beat everybody and scored the best goal. So he's not only a politician and a doctor, he's also a very good footballer, formerly of Unupu, now of MUK. I let him deny it, but anyway, that is a sign. You have the floor, honorable doctor. Thank you very much for the compliments. I'm here to ratify that whatever the chairman says is true. I wonder what can I do. But you must emphasize that currently I'm from group to act in and to MK, not PLU. PLU is still with my agent. Towards the course, today's course, uh, I will contribute one million. One million children, shukran. Uh, ever of some moving around. But uh, Mr. Chairman, I need a clarification on how is this is going to be effective. Because you see this gathering, uh, nobody knew of this. It's very important that people are informed on how we are going to continue to correspond with this. Is it going to be through the platform or we are going to have an Ackerman for this? If, if, if you have this with you, scan this one, we all have given you a card, a small card like this one. Inside. Yes, you can put it, then we can with you. But if you scan this one, the details that I hear you get them and the, you can play them like this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Does that mean you release the chair? That's okay. Uh, I have been informed by the Imam. Our Imam will be giving us one million shillings. Imam, one, thank you. Now, 
And it's beginning with 500,000 now. Sheikh Abdul Mutumba, the Imam. Now, um, we have about three minutes to get out of this place. There are envelopes that have been given to you. In there is all the information that you may need as far as this cause is concerned. I have begun with them, please, for purposes of saving time. There is nothing that stops all of us from making contributions on the platforms and information that has been given to you. Now, at this point in time, I want to invite uh, should be Imam Kasozi to introduce the delegation and also make a few remarks in about three minutes and we should be out of this place. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala alihi wa sahabi wa salimu tasliman kathira Chairman, Muslim Kokas, the Imam of Parliament, members of Parliament, Honorable Minister, my brothers in Islam, Brothers and sisters, Islam, Salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. You see, when you are dealing with enlightened people, work becomes very easy for you. We have distributed these forms. This small, it contains all the information we want. Uh, I want to go with this because if we are going, then I will introduce the, the leaders. On this, we are fundraising for. Salam Muslim Cemetery in Kowetu. We have earmarked to purchase 130 acres of land as opposed to the eight we had. It is within the radius of 42 kilometers from Kampala on one of the main roads and just a kilometer away from the main road, Tamak, from Tamak. Uh, we have here because we are in the process of registering Salam Muslim Cemetery to become an independent entity to detach it from the initiators. But the initiators were BMK Group of Companies and Uganda Muslim Welfare Association. That's why you will see their logos here or their symbols. They brought us into this work. Now we have all embraced it. We are moving to it, inshallah ta'ala. Sooner than later, we are going to announce that we have finished we have at least made a big deposit onto the land, and then even its use will begin as, as soon as we make some deposits. Number two, uh, we have, there are telephone calls, telephone numbers, which you can call for further information. The first one, which ends with 751, is for Imam Sam Ahmad Asentongo. The second one is for me, the one which ends with 250. The third one is for our chairman, Haji Kale. He is with us here. If you want to donate on to donate online, you can first of all scan and make your pledge. If you scan this QR code, you will get all the information. An individual, as institution, as a group of people, whatever you want, as a family, you will you, you can feel, fit. For the moment you feel and you submit, we get all the information by putting the amount you want to pay and the date you think we should remind you. The third thing, those whose money, who have now banks in their hands, or what we call mobile banking, digital system, you can use any of these. Uh, either if you are Airtel, you will see Airtel. We have our uh, measure record there for MTN, the same. Airtel, I don't, want, I, I don't want to explain that one. I said when you are dealing with people who are enlightened, things become easier for you. I don't need to tell you plus, sita, one, six, whatever, no. That one we are aware because we are using this one. You can now, if you have made your pledge, you can even pay from your bank immediately. Then, if you go to the bank, because you are not, we have a bank account in Tropical Bank, in the names of Sams Ahmad Asentongo, Nakai Zahadija, who is there, and Ali Rajab, engineer Ali Rajab. So, our committee, we are 15 people, 
spearheading this exercise. We are led by Haji Haruna Karule Chivirigwe. He's the chairman. He can stand up. You see him. He says, Salam. You can catch with him up at Africana Hotel. He's the MD of Africana Hotel. Next, next is Ima. I want to assure you that this project is the same as Goi One. I've been chairman for the last 17 years, and I will continue being the chairman of the same. So don't worry where we are putting your money. It is in the same as we started, so it's continuous. So be sure that your money will be safe, and the place we are buying will be kept as with the same, I mean, money. Thank you. Inshallah. Then the next one is uh, Imam Sam Ahmad Asentongo, the former, the former Imam of Makira University, is the vice chairman. We have engineer Al Rajab, you know him. He is the secretary. Then Hajat Hadija, who is in that corner there. She is the treasurer. If you want, you have your mind to pay, you can pay her. You want your receipt, she will give it to you immediately, instantly. Uh, then we have Hajat Aisha Nalule from Fufa. She's a member and vice treasurer. Imam Kasozi, I am the spokesperson, the one speaking to you. Haji Karim Kalisa is the publicity from Salam TV, Salam Charity. We have uh, Haji Ali Mwanga Chibirige, the chairman of BMK Group of Companies. He's a, he's, a, he's a member. Uh, Haj Mahmoud Unsamba, he's a member from Unsamba Coffee. Imam Hamid Unsubga, he's the Imam of Masjid Musa at Africana, he's a member. Haj Isaka Kapalaga Rubega, uh, those of you who did in forests, you know him very well. He, he, he's an expert in that area. We have Haj Fujemba, who is our Prime Minister in that. We, we have a cabinet also, he's the Prime Minister of our cabinet. He is the CEO of Islamic Center for Education and Research. If you have ever seen any project of Ikifa in your area, he is the one responsible. Uh, more is a mosque or water or whatever. Then uh, Haj Ahmad Abisegirwa uh, is not with us. He, he, took, he should probably have been here, but he is now in India. The wife is sick, uh, but he will be with us soon. I spoke to him this morning and the progress is good. Uh, those of you who have either had children in uh, Rukman, he's the chairman of the management committee, he's the chairman of Tawhid, he's also part of Naminembe Infant, but he's the chairman of Kawimpe Mbogo Mosque. Uh, the one we are, they are constructing. We have Haji Yasin Mbiru, he's a businessman, he lives in the cars in the industry area. Then the last one is Adam Mansour, he's also a member. So, out of those, whoever you think you can approach easily, get to him, we do this. Two, you mobilize for us, your constituents, so that they also make a contribution of this. So, because, and the, the, the work is going to continue because this is in Kobe, Salam, 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 Muslim Cemetery. We are intending to have as many as possible on every main road that leaves Kampala. Even up country. For example, I know many of you, you admired Sheikh Ankata, he was buried in one of those uh, limbos we, we did buy with some other people. That, but even the local community now said we want to surrender it to Salam Muslim Committee for proper management. Therefore, even if you are here also, you want to donate land for a cemetery in your area, you can donate it. We shall, inshallah, move on. When we register Salam Muslim Cemetery, it's going to be trust. It's going to be trust. And probably, when people are nominating board of trustees, you could be one of them. Because you want as many people there as possible so that it helps us to move on and on, and also help us identify other places up country, work on them, improve them, because many people may say we still have a Vija, but we are becoming a metropolitan country. All the cities around us, they are metropolitan. Now, for me, I have a Chija, you have a Chija, but we now have 
hundreds, hundreds, maybe, there are about to be millions of Muslims from Eritrea, from Ethiopia, from Sudan, from Congo, from uh, India, from Pakistan. They are all around here. When they die, the only place that we can easily bury them decently are these limbos. That's why we need to have them. Don't say we have a chija. Yes, we have a chija, but I'm very sure it is important for me and you to emphasize the issue of this century. I don't want to dilute the words that have been said by, the, by my president, who is the, your yeah. chairman, Caucus, uh, your, co your Caucus chairman, sorry. Uh, and uh, at least we have worked together with some of you. The trust they are talking about is there. And that's why Mwaira Nkunyinji was very strong to say, I am part of Umia. Because you know, he, indeed he is. And uh, this year he's the, he's the chairman of the Ramadan seminars, the organizing team. So when he invites you for the Ramadan seminars, please come. We thank you very much. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, the envelopes from the main side have already come. We have 941,000 cash. And pledges from, again, I think largely this side, 5.5 million. We want to thank you very, very much. Total, 6 million, 441,000. Are you not in your Wanji. You are still counting. What? Uh, how much? How many make up? What? You could see more. On phone you have 950. Hey, where is my pen? Uh huh. 950 on phone. Uh huh. What? So, so is it could see me 950. Cash. 10,000. So you have 960. So 960 plus 940, it comes to 1.9. Arithmetic. Is, is arithmetic. Plus 5.5. .5, that therefore means in the Parliament of Uganda, we have realized uh, 7,441,000. Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah. It is on that that I want to add my word now. Things are not done by numbers like many people think. Things are done by commitment. If, as you look at us, as we, we, we are, in order to be able, we have been able to raise 7.41 million shillings, it is commitment. Get committed to what you want to do, you will see it done. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.